What's up YouTube? So my MP40 finally came back, but it's not the same one that I sent out. This is footage of my original MP40 before I sent it off. It was having issues with light primer strikes and a little bit of bulging on the, the primers of the casings. Now ATI instructed me to send it back and after further investigation they said that there was no way they could fix it. They tried replacing parts and it did not correct the issue so they sent me back a brand new firearm. Now as far as I can see this firearm is functioning very well and already out outdoes the original mp40 that i had out here it is still having issues with light primer strikes which kind of throws up some red flags for me um, it's only had three rounds that it had light primer strikes on but aside from that the firearm has been flawless now it is still having bulging of the primers so could be a little bit of a pressure issue that one's not as bad. That's later on. So it, it's still throwing up some warning signs, but it's still just as accurate. It's actually been just as reliable. We haven't had one jam since we came out here. The only thing we were having was, I believe, three light primer strikes since we've been out here. Uh, I shot this before today at the indoor range it gave me no issues no light primer strikes no issues at all I'm gonna keep shooting this firearm. I really love it, and since it's shooting reliably and it's not posing any threat, I don't see a problem with the primers being a little bit bulged. Now, I'm gonna keep an eye on ammunition that I put through it. I might try a couple different brands when I do the full review, but what do you guys think? Um, I've talked to other people who own these firearms, and they haven't had any of the problems I'm having, so I might just be really unlucky, but I really do like this firearm, especially with this, uh, World War II reproduction sling, which I got from Amazon. The manual says that you probably should not hold it by the magazine. And so I hold it by the magazine weld. And on my last video, I had people kind of getting angry that I was doing that, but I have my index finger and my middle finger holding on tight and then my bottom two fingers just kind of barely rest on that magazine and my thumb is on the magazine weld so I'm not putting any pressure on it and I feel a lot more controlled than this. This is not comfortable or steady at all so this is the optimal way of holding it I found and if you don't like it I don't care.
So one thing I did men uh, forget to mention was I haven't cleaned this thing since I got it. So I shot 150 rounds at the range and then I brought it out here and shot 250. So that's 400 rounds, no cleaning, has not had a failure to feed or eject at all. I have noticed the last round sometimes will just barely pop out the side. But uh, aside from that, it hasn't had any issues feeding. So that is a big plus for this firearm. So we always see in the movies where the Germans are shooting from the hip like this. And I've always wanted to do that. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do here. Now I gotta kinda hold it out further because it has a reciprocating charging handle. So I'm gonna anchor it right here and just have a little fun. All right, so I guess this one's having a light primer strike issue too. It's not as frequent as the other one, but One thing I will say about American Tactical is they have amazing customer service. I emailed them and within maybe 20 minutes, they'll get me back an email saying what I need to do. When I had issues with my original MP40, they contacted me within an hour telling me to ship it back. I gave them my information, the serial number, and they sent back within minutes the free postage for shipping. They have incredible customer service and when they thought they could not fix the firearm, they sent me a brand new one. I really do like this firearm. It's shot accurate, it's been reliable, I love it. The only issue we've had out here was three light primer strikes and some bulging of the primers. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna do a video where I'm doing a review on this, but I'm first gonna talk to American Tactical about the bulging primers and see what they think about it before you know I put a lot of time into it. But, there's a lot of information I've learned about this firearm that I'm not putting into this video. I wanna wait until I have all the facts right and I wanna make sure that I've put enough rounds through this thing to know every little detail and every little quirk that it has. So like last time, just putting this around my neck and steadying it like that, believe it or not, that really increases the accuracy of this guy. Seems to be shooting to the left. The one thing I will say is that strap, that little bit that sticks up just kind of bothers me. And definitely holding it that close to my face feels kind of awkward. But uh, once you do it and realize how much steadier you are, it's great. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see in future videos. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. This is still one of my favorite guns to shoot and it beats out the AK, which is something because that was like king for like three years was my favorite thing to take out to the range. Well today, this is my favorite. Jackass. <laughs>